Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Booker Rumble dungeon guide, I'm going to take a look at Black Fathom Deeps and an Undead Week, and specifically this army for Blood Mage Talnos. First, let's take a quick look at the dungeon mechanics. The first was Gurgle Mogul. There's basically two strategies that you can use for Gurgle Mogul. Either you spam it with Unbounce, and it is fairly simple to take down with Unbounce, or you go into a longer battle of attrition, try to take maybe both towers, at least this tower, and try to get your troops through here. But there's this choke point here, which makes it a little awkward, and then there's going to be a lot of free Murlocs, because there will be Murlocs here, there will be Murlocs here, so they're all going to shoot down at your troops, so you have to have some way to handle them. And then these Murlocs here are going to run to this platform, and then the southernmost of them is actually going to be able to shoot at your base from there. So they need something like a safe pilot or well packs or something to be able to handle those so over time i have grown more and more used to using the unbound strategy for gurgle mogul and even if you need a couple of tries to get it done then it's the first boss it's pretty quick to restart so overall that just seems to spend less time than any other strategy on this boss the second boss, Baron Aquinas, is known for many, many, many Guaguas and also three Dark Eye Miners that will spawn whenever there's enough gold to be mined on the veins. So for this one, the Gargoyles are definitely a problem. Once you're lower level, then Gargoyles can really easily kill your base. Early on, on lower difficulty levels, you can just attack here, take this tower and move through here and kill the boss. But on higher difficulty levels, you typically also need to take this tower. There's also a third tower there, but I never take that. I just ignore that one. You typically need both of these two towers so that your base will not succumb to Gargoyle attacks because otherwise Gargoyles are just going to be attacking you too much. However, once I started putting Chimera into my army, I have noticed that sometimes I am able to just repel the initial attack and have enough troops go over here that I can actually take down the boss. It doesn't happen very often, but it has happened a few times. It's not something that I actively pursue, but if I see an opportunity, I'm more like opportunistic about that. If I see that, okay, the first attack is coming hard from here, and I'm able to fight back, and I'm able to destroy it, and I have good forces left, then I try to make the push. But otherwise, I just try to take the towers first and then work on the boss. And the third boss, Akumai, is a three-headed Hydra. One head over here and over there. The third one over here. And once you have killed all the three heads once, then this waterfall is going to go away and all three heads will spawn over there and you have to fight against them again. Other than that, Akuma is really going to swarm you with stuff. As you can see, there's already a bunch of stuff here ready to swarm me. And you really need a way to handle swarms with some AOE minis in this one. And also, it's super important to kill this head and take this tower right at the start. Because there's not a lot of gold in this map. There's a vein over here and another vein over there. So not very accessible. And chest is over there. So securing this area means that one head is down and you have secured this gold vein. And then you're in a good position to defend this and attack from here. And also get some attacks going over there. And that's pretty much what happens at Akumai. So this is my army for Blood Mage Talnos. I'm using Skeleton Party, Necromancer, Execute, Wellpegs, Earth Elemental and Pyromancer. So the first boss I'm going to kill that with Unbound Spam, preferably Earth Elemental followed by Skeleton Party and then Execute. That would be the ideal combo, but Wellpegs can also come in handy. So using those and then using something like Pyromancer to open some chests or something in that one. And then the second boss, for the second boss Pyromancer against all of those flyers, the big squads of flyers is excellent. Necromancer is really, really good at killing gargoyles, but it can struggle if there's many flyers coming at once because it's a single target damage dealer. Also Skeleton Party can be useful against those flyers, as can Talnus himself, so plenty of tools there. You can also get the leftmost tower by dropping an Earth Elemental there for tanking and then dropping the Wellbex into the Poison Pool so that they pop immediately and start shooting at the tower. And also Execute can help you take some towers, so once you have control of the two towers then you can just proceed to kill the boss. And then for the final boss, Wellbex can blow up the Murlocs near the first head and then you can attack with Talnos with Pyromancer with Necro and just move on from there. And that's pretty much it. And this is what it all looks like in action. All right. Ooh, now we have the good stuff with this one and boom and then this one and then a pow that one and now we be blasting just just look at how we blast 
because when we be blasting, we really be blasting and more blasting. That one can go over there, but the boss is already down. Boom. I mean, when you get when you get the Earth Elemental Skeleton Party execute, that just oh wow. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Right, bunch of stuff coming right up. Blast them down, blast them down, please. Would you be so kind? You need to kill the bat right? Yes. Excellent job, excellent job. And I can execute the tower. A pow. All right. We got the tower down and we saved the necro. Ooh, and we get a free griffin ready right kill. But the necro is probably going to die to the tower now. Which is a little bit awkward. But hey, it happens. We'll send another necro this way. And we're going to start getting ready. I'm actually just sent those over there now. A little bit of support for the necro. And then I'm going to take this tower, because I... Whoa, I missed that. I totally missed that one. Sorry, that was my bad. That should be good enough to handle it. We can take this tower in, in between. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, one more gold, one more gold, please. Necro, save me. Well, Necro is a blaster. Necro kills the gargoyle. I'm sure. Necro will kill it. Alright, then we just need to get an attack on the... Attack on the tower. Okay, but Talnus, you need to be a little bit faster. Okay, okay, okay. No! Too slow. Too slow, but I can mine. Mining will help me. I can put eggs over there. No, they're too close to Drake. They're too close to Drake. Necro. Earth Elemental to distract Drake. Go, 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 team. I believe in you, team. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're still in this somehow. I don't even know how, but somehow. We're still in the fight. Oh, I need to send a good push. And a good tank. And some mining. Nothing too serious challenging me from there. Necro. Well, packs. More minis. More tanking. Execution. Get that bloodlust in. Still 30 seconds left. I just lost the tower, I know. I'm not going to worry about the tower now, because I'm going to win. And the execute. Boom. Okay. But not right now. Hmm. Okay, so we open up with this, and with then with this, I think. 
think this is acceptable. We managed to catch all of the all of the Murlocs. Managed to get the big hits in. <laughs> more quillbors are coming. There's always more quillbors. But look at that. We took the tower. We actually took the tower. This game is so not over. Look at that necro blasting. Oh no, oh no, oh no. One more gold, one more gold, one more gold. Thalnos. The base will tank for you. The base will tank for you, Thalnos. The base will tank for you. Alright, 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 alright. Need to get that stone. I need to get troops up here. Yes, 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 yes. Time to send time to send a well pack bomb. Go team, go team, go, go, go. There is gold over there. We can go mine. Then I can go grab the chest. No, I positioned the X wrong. Position the X wrong. It's over time. Come on, team, come on, come on, come on. You have got to be kidding me. I messed up the end. No, I messed up the end. Ah. Didn't think that could happen, but it did. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.